Hello YouTube, welcome back to today's video, 2E0 IQJ. So last week's video we looked at the Ampro 20 and Ampro 40 antenna and I mounted it Ampro 20 on the back of the bike and I was able to make a copy into the States using just 5 watts so it can't be too bad. This week I'm going to show you the portable QRP setup I'm going to show you how I mount everything on the bicycle. So let's take a look in this bag. But the bag's seen better days, it's ripping there. I don't know if it come out on camera, but it's ripping there. So I need to get a new bag at some point. So I'll be looking into getting a new bag. And in here we've got the Turnergy 5 amp hour batteries. And on the top there you've got an XT60 connection. And that's the balance charger there to charge it up. Always balance charge your LiPo, so I've got two of them. Now I'm not running these batteries together. I'm going to run them just as they are. So one battery, when it runs out, run another battery. And this gives me anywhere from about an hour and a half to two and a half hours usage. So not too bad on just the 5 amp amp powers. Got this antenna here, which screws in at the top there. And that gives us a 6, 2 and 70. So I can do uh, some QRP on 2, 70 and 6 meters. With my 817, I got a power lead. Now it did have just two bare wires, but I have soldered. It's not the best in the world because I'm not good at soldering an XT60 on there. Just makes it a lot easier rather than using Blue Tech or putting wires in, trying to make a contact and the wires falling out. So plug your battery into there. The other end goes into the radio, and we've got the microphone there. And this is a MH31 for those playing along at home. Just stand a microphone that come with the Yesu. And we've got the little 817. And what a good radio this is. Now I could eliminate the drone batteries and use an internal battery there, but or AA batteries, but I don't want to do that. Use the drone batteries while I've got them. And this is the 5 watt QRP rig. And if I'm doing 2 and 70, I can then just connect the aerial up. Come on, where's it? Okay, here it is. Connect the aerial up and use the radio like that with the microphone inside. And it works very well on 2 metre uh, sideband, which I did the other week just to test it out. But you have to make sure that when you use this one, if you want to use that connection there, which is the BNC, the front antenna, it's setting the radio to front. If it's set ICNR on the screen, it means it's on the reverse antenna. So let me go out and about and set this thing up. So this is how we set everything up. The antenna will just screw into here. That's a standard 3 8 wave thread. On here we've got it mounted to the back. That cable tie there is just to keep the cable in line, stop it moving. And on here is a piece of metal. I can't remember where that come from. I think it come from the farm. Um, and Robert helped us do that. If I remember I'll link it in the description below and on the end card of how we did this. There's a different bolt there to hold it all in together. Down here is the actual ground plane, I believe that is what it is. The cable goes all the way up here, which is connected to the radio. On here, we have a reusable cable tie, so I can tie the cable up, cable tie it, tie it around there. And that noise you heard was from the farm. It's a bird scare, I believe, if you heard the noise. The antenna is the Ampro 20. Goes all the way up there, you can swap that for a 11 metre in here, the fire stick. I have a 4 metres on there, that's another bird scare gone off. At the 4 metres in there, I can have the Ampro 40 in there, Ampro 20, which is what I've got here. And it connects to the back of the radio, the 259. And there's your drone battery, and that's connected with an XT60. Another one's gone off, that's the XT60 connections there. Just make it a bit more stable rather than using Blue Tech. And when you use this radio, make sure that uh, the menu number seven is set for the rear antenna. Because default, I think it's set to the front antenna. And you'll clear out going, why can't hear no one? Switch it to the rear antenna. And then you can uh, use the radio, uh, uh, aerial on the bike. If you're doing a front antenna, 
you then use this antenna here, or you can use a external one. But if I'm doing a two meters SSB, I can put it in the front there. The radio then stands up like that, and you can use it for doing two meter SSB. That's basically how we set the radio up, nice and simple. And I found this setup works very well. Last week I was able to make uh, contact into the States.